Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I just wanted to film a quick video for you, sharing or showing you this um, maxi art project that I made recently. It's been up on our Instagram stories, it went up there and it's actually saved as a little highlight so you can still see it if you head over to our Instagram. But I've had lots of questions about what we used and the size of it, so I thought I'd do a quick video and show it um, to you. So this is about 12 inches by about 14 inches in size. It's actually a a, um, well it was a frame I actually I picked it up at a charity shop but you can see the price the original price of it was 17 99 I paid two pound in a charity shop which it's it's a wall hanging because it's got this hook on the back and it's got this frame around the edge which is already part of it on the front here it had a picture of like a coffee cup or a mocha or something or other on there so that was my base that was how I started this was just one piece that as I say I think it was a bit of a lucky find from a charity shop I gessoed all over that to make it plain, left the frame as it was, because I like this gold, sort of distressy gold anyway, but all over the coffee cup picture on the front, I just put white gesso and covered that up. Um, the bits and pieces that I've added are a selection of mitt form bits, so the little metal embellishments, all these little cogs and gears and everything are all mitt form, which we actually sell in the shop some of them that we do there we have tubs of them but some of the bits that we sell so these sort of um, corners like I say and cogs and the words as well I use the word journey on mine but you get the idea these little bits as I say they're available in the shop um, I'll link everything down below that we do sell so yeah, some MDF pieces, some mitt form pieces, some roses that I made myself. If I bring it a little bit closer, you can see the rolled roses on there. They're just clay roses that I made using some air drying clay. So I just bought this at my local craft shop and um, yeah just made myself little roses exactly like they've got on the packet here. Just rolled roses, very very easy to do. They don't have to look too perfect because by the time they're on there and you've painted them and distressed them, they come together really, really pretty anyway. So I made some roses to go on there. I had some pieces of wood that I just had lying around for ages. These are just blocks of wood. Some um, wooden numbers. You've probably all got these in your stash. They're just what you would normally put on a card or a scrapbook layout. There were some glass pebbles that I had that I stuck on there. Um, what else, anything else? No, that's about it. So it was a mixture of wood, metal, roses, and sort of glass bits and pieces, odd bits and pieces. Again, most of this is bits that we sell in the shop, which I will link all down below. So I gessoed all over everything. The gesso we use is a Winsor & Newton gesso, just white gesso primer. We buy a big tub of it like this on Amazon. Don't sell it in their shop, but again, I'll link the Amazon down below so you can get this if you want to. It's a one litre tub, really, really nice gesso. It's not too watery and loose, it's a nice one. To stick the pieces on, I used a mixture of this gel, this matte gel, which is this brand, PBO, PBO, don't know how you say it, but that brand, and also the Ranger Multi Matte Medium, which I've actually run out of now. Again, I buy these on Amazon, I'll link it down below for you. Um, I then gave everything a coat of paint using these two products, which are new to us. We've only just got these in. Is that focusing for you? There you go. So they're the Art Alchemy um, Finnebear products in two different colours. These are Mermaid Teal and Emerald Green. So I painted all over, quite loosely, all over everything. I'm going to insert bits of footage here that I actually took on my phone that has gone up on our Insta stories. So as I'm talking to you, hopefully you're seeing these bits of footage and it's all making sense. So it's been primed with gesso. I've now painted it all over with these, these two colours. Um, let that dry and then I finished off by adding the patinas in the on the um, tops. I did actually dry brush over some white gesso as well just to add some white highlights. That kind of got a little bit lost but you do see a little bit still. You see you know you've got a few white highlights but you can see you've got colour, depth of colour and white highlights and then finished off with this patina. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention, which I've run out of, I did finish the tube of it, was this sand paste. Again, it's a Finnebear product. We don't sell it, but I'll try and link it for you down below. Um, that I just put into the corners and around here. This is like a sandy texture paste. You can actually make it yourself using the multi matte medium and just literally mixing in some sand, but you get that rough texture on there. 
Um, yeah, and as I say, finished off with the patinas, which I used a mixture of bronze and old gold, which is those two colours there. They're both quite similar, just one's a little bit more ready toned. And just with my finger, went round and rubbed that over everything, just burnished that over absolutely everything. Um, and that's about it. As I say, I just wanted to do a very quick video and show you that. If you've got any other questions, just leave them down below and I'll try and answer. I'll try and put links to everything I possibly can down below. But yeah, it's good fun to make. I really, really like it. We're going to hang it on the wall here in the studio. Hope you give this sort of thing a go. If you do, let me know and share it in our Facebook group or tag me so I can see it somehow. But yeah, hope that helps. Thanks for watching and I shall see you very, very soon. Bye.